Quantum computing reaches a watershed. China's. Zukanzi number 3. Quantum computer breaks two impossibilities. In the vast cosmos of science, a problem that would leave the world's fastest supercomputers in the dust became simple before a Chinese. Fingernail chip. A task like the simulation of the universe's end state due to entropy, which the fastest supercomputers would need a hundred million years to complete, was solved in sub-seconds by a fingernail-sized superconducting quantum chip at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Quantum Computing Lab. The moment the result flashed on the terminal, the entire quantum computing academic community erupted. The protagonist of this technological revolution, which took place in 2025, is the Zukanzi No. 3 Quantum Computer, equipped with 105 entangled quantum bits. Even more astonishingly, it shattered the quantum decoherence curse that has plagued the scientific community for a decade. While traditional error correction algorithms typically lead to an exponential increase in error rates, the topological encoding technology pioneered by Zukanzi No. 3 automatically calibrates the quantum state in each iteration, suppressing the error rate from the industry average of 3.2% to a groundbreaking 0.0012%. After the news was disclosed in a Nature subjournal, Jennifer Cho, director of the MIT Quantum Center, reportedly checked the data repeatedly during a video conference, exclaiming, This is like fitting a GPS tracker onto Schrodinger's cat. Scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, took to Twitter using three exclamation marks. The Chinese team has fundamentally rewritten the underlying logic of quantum computing. The qubit magic, from fragile, light bulbs, to robust, teams, quantum bits, or qubits, aren't as mystical as they sound, they are like special light bulbs that can be simultaneously on and off. While an ordinary bulb is either on or off, these special ones can occupy both states. With 105 such entangled light bulbs, the computing power increases exponentially. However, these light bulbs are extremely fragile. The slightest noise can burn the filament. Previously, attempting to fix a faulty one would often damage more, making the correction process worse than the error itself. But, Zukanzi number 3 defies conventional wisdom. It lets these qubits form guard teams. If one fails, the others immediately step in to compensate. Crucially, after correction, the lifespan of the logical qubit is actually longer than that of a single physical qubit. This error correction survival line, which global scientists have been stuck on for 10 years, has been directly crossed by the Chinese team. Next, let's explore how it has left Google and IBM behind and the world-changing secrets it holds. The performance leap, leaving the West. A hundred thousand miles behind. Who would have thought? The computational power of Zukanzi No. 3 has directly distanced the US and Europe by a wide margin. It's 105 qubits. When solving a Gaussian boson sampling problem, are a million trillion times faster than the world's fastest supercomputers. What does this mean? A calculation requiring a hundred million years for a supercomputer is completed by Zukanzi No. 3 in less than a second. In comparison, Google's Sycamore X, recently launched in 2025 with 67 qubits, is only 1 billion times faster than a supercomputer, a mere fraction of Zukanzi No. 3's capability. IBM finds itself in an even more embarrassing position. After boasting of developing a 127 qubit machine last year, its measured fidelity this year is only 98.5%, falling short of even touching. Zukanzi No. 3's 99.62% gate fidelity threshold. Europe's situation is particularly galling. After launching the Quantum Flagship Program in 2021 and pouring 8 billion euros into quantum computing, they have yet to achieve quantum supremacy by 2025, let alone break the error correction break-even point. Last year, the US DARPA stated that the break-even point was at least three years away, only for China to turn this impossibility into reality ahead of schedule. Quality over quantity, China's integrated quantum ecosystem in the quantum computing arena 
the true contest has long surpassed a simple cubic count competition and evolved into a comprehensive game of cubic quality plus coordination efficiency. Western nations have exposed clear weaknesses in their technological exploration, while Google, backed by massive capital, amassed a huge number of qubits, it hit a bottleneck in qubit fidelity, with its quantum processors often yielding computational deviations due to decoherence issues. European countries, despite joint multi-billion euro investment, have consistently failed to bridge the gaps in their technology chain, exhibiting a clear fragmentation from qubit preparation to algorithm optimization. In contrast, China's quantum computing achievements, represented by Jiuzhang No. 3 and Zukongzi No. 3, are achieving a high-quality and high-efficiency leap that is stunning the world. In the ultra-low temperature environment of the Hefei National Laboratory for Physical Sciences at the microscale, the 105 entangled qubits, like brilliant stars suspended in a vacuum, have not only placed China at the forefront of qubit quantity, but have also established a complex and precise quantum computing network through self-developed novel quantum error correcting codes and nanoscale high-precision control technology. The research team broke through the coherence time bottleneck of traditional superconducting qubits by innovatively designing a 3D qubit architecture, increasing the speed of quantum state transfer between qubits by three orders of magnitude. This coordination capability is akin to the meshing of gears in a precision watch, with the state transition error of each qubit strictly controlled to within a millionth of a second. Researchers use a self-developed pulse sequence optimization algorithm to precisely control the qubits, ensuring that the fidelity of every computational step is maintained above 99.999% during quadrillion-level superposition state operations. In the field of quantum simulation, these achievements have already been successfully applied to complex molecular structure analysis, shortening the theoretical calculation time for drug discovery from years to mere weeks. This opens up new pathways for targeted drug development against major diseases like cancer, demonstrating the enormous potential of quantum computing to empower fundamental scientific research. This technological breakthrough completely shatters the notion of Western monopoly on high-end technology and reveals the fundamental law of quantum computing development. The future lies not in the blind accumulation of capital but in the ability to construct a complete and highly efficient technological ecosystem. From the independent research and development of superconducting qubit materials to the engineering application of quantum algorithms, Chinese research teams are redefining the global quantum computing competitive landscape with their grounded technological implementation capabilities. The real game changer, the better when repaired, magic the true revolution is not speed, it's the magic of being more stable the more it's fixed. Quantum computing's biggest fear is decoherence, like having freshly written notes immediately scattered by the wind. Previously, the person trying to copy the notes would only make more mistakes, making the correction effort worsen the chaos. In 2025, Google is still testing Steen code for error correction, resulting in a logical qubit lifetime that is 20% shorter than a single physical qubit. IBM, more cautiously, does not dare to publicly disclose its post-correction fidelity, fearing embarrassment. However, Zukanzi No. 3 introduced a new operation using the surface code, 10 physical qubits form a logical squad, and if one makes an error, the other nine immediately compensate and correct. Astonishingly, the resulting logical qubit's lifespan is 30% longer than the worst physical qubit in the squad. This is like having a smartphone that runs longer after being repaired, an outcome that has astounded the global quantum community. In quantum computing, error correction capability is the life and death line for technological development. This challenging path, which Western research teams failed to cross despite a decade of effort, is not due to insurmountable theoretical bottlenecks, but rather a significant deficiency in engineering practice capability. The surface code error correction technique, for example, demands almost excruciating precision in the control of qubit-to-qubit -qubit interactions. If the interaction time of any single qubit deviates by more than a microsecond during manipulation, the entire computing system plunges into chaos, rendering all efforts futile. The breakthrough by Zukanzi number 3 
is not just China's solo performance. It's a press of the accelerator for global quantum technology. In the future, new drug development could be accelerated by five years, weather forecasts could be precise down to the hour, and even code-breaking speeds could double. Interested in knowing how this quantum artifact could help you get new cancer drugs sooner? Follow me, and next time we'll delve into five quantum computing black technologies for everyday life.